kids are really excited about it and they really love Gigi the Penguin. The Chicago Tribune called our results staggering. It's a safe haven for many of our children. The Mind Research Institute and our partnership with them is helping us leverage technology in ways that are going to, I think, overcome and delete some of these barriers and obstacles in our kids' lives. When I arrived in Chicago Public Schools, specifically in Area 13, the math achievement uh, for the set of 27 schools that I oversee was some of the lowest among the 700 schools in Chicago. After the first year of implementation of the Mind Research Institute, uh, we had 22 out of our 27 schools um, show improvement in math, and seven out of our 27 schools post double-digit gains in math. Overton is one of our shining examples of success. They took to the Mind Research Institute and really embraced everything that it has to offer. Overton is located in the inner city of Chicago. Um, it's low income. Um, majority of our students are 99% uh, reduced to free lunch. Last year, when I started in September, 80% of my class was below in math. I only had two students who were performing at below at the end of last year, so 90% of my class was above level. Last year when I was only in the fourth grade, I had a D in math, and then when I went to the uh, fifth grade, we started GG, and I have ended up with a B. I went to a C average, to an A average, and I said school, I have 77, so we do it every day, so I get excited every day. Um, the problem that I had with, it was with decimals because I didn't understand after the decimal point what there was. Now I know it because Gigi has taught me. It has really helped me, it's great. It has made me better. It inspired me, I do a lot of math at home. I study my timetables, I work on them every day. I try to help my brother a lot. And it just really helps me. The experiences that kids have when they're engaged in Gigi um, help level the playing field and actually reverse and, and turn traditional instruction kind of on its head. It allows the children to think on their own because it acts as a, a puzzle almost. It's like a video game. Kids love video games and it's competition for them. They, they're trying to race to get to 100 so that really motivates them. Then when they take uh, Scantron, they can say, you know what? I saw some problems like that in ST math. And that's what it's all about, being able to draw from various resources and apply them in another setting. It increased their motivation, the desire of wanting to learn and wanting to be someone or somebody. I want to be a doctor when I grow up so I can help many people. I want to be a professional NFL player. A pediatrician. I want to teach math, reading, science, and literature. If I wanted to be a teacher, I could teach uh, my students what I've learned on Gigi. It's pretty much changed the whole culture of the building. You can see the consistency and the confidence that we have in our students and our staff. And students are always here in the morning, in the afternoon. They want to try to do as much as they can. My son never really liked math before, so it just opened his eyes to a whole new perspective of doing math. And he's actually excited. Um, it's not a struggle to get him to work on the concepts when he comes home because he tells me all about Gigi and how he <laughs> did it at school that day. 90% of my kids from last year, they were no low-income students. So when they enter into Overton, it was like a safe haven for them. We had a resource and Gigi was part of that resource uh, that they could offer as they, an outlet too. So they were able to take that back home with them no matter what I'm battling with at home. you know alcoholism, um, not being at home with my biological mom. I knew that the next day when I come to school, I still have that friend, which was Gigi, and it pick up their spirits and motivate them even more. We're on to something. I, I really believe that uh, over the course of the next decade, um, we are going to change the equation on public education for kids that are living below the poverty line. And I think we're just beginning to scrape the surface on the potential of the Mind Research Institute. In this life you can lead if you only believe and in order to achieve what you need you can never give up. You can never give up.